We must keep moving. The sooner we find Garil, the better. I'm sorry. It's the cinnamon-scented perfume I wear. It was Garil's favorite. I may have overdone it today. Leave the crypts until I find my husband. I guess I should be thankful the Marlborn ignored us. Still rude of them, though.
Ah, excellent. You got my message. Apparently, that little creature isn't completely useless. Banekin can be such children. I hope you've nothing pressing. We could be here a while. I can't be strutting around the city wearing my imperial regalia, can I? Your concern about my fashion sense is touching, but irrelevant. I've called you here for a reason. If we are to determine a course of action, we need more information. By now, it should be clear your prophet emperor brought these catastrophic events upon us. Everything that transpired is his fault. Granted, Minimarco can be very persuasive and charismatic when he wants to be. We all believed him when he said we could change Varen's bloodline with the Amulet of Kings. You saved Varen's life when you rescued him in Cold Harbor. In return, he lied to you about his true identity and his part in causing the Soul Burst. He manipulated you from the very start. Perhaps the better question is, why don't you blame Varen? Varen wants to assemble a new group of companions in the vein of the original five. Claims it fulfills a prophecy in those wretched scrolls of his. Superstitious nonsense, but he is quite correct on one point. We need to find Sai Sahan. In the chaos following the Soul Burst, Sahan stole the Amulet of Kings and fled the Imperial City. We're going to need that relic, and he is the only one who knows its current location. He was captured by Minimarco's agents and taken to an undisclosed location. We need to find out where he's being held. Minimarco keeps his most secret documents at Knife Ear Grotto in Deshan, inside a hidden lair of Daedric cultists. We must travel there and search for clues. Head to Knife Ear Grotto in the eastern mountains of Deshan. I will meet you inside. If I can endure Titanborn's inane prattle, I can survive your assuredly erudite elucidations. Proceed. Well, if you must pry, I am Chancellor to the Elder Council and Overlord of Nibine. But of all my titles, the greatest is my family name, Tharn. We are the greatest of the noble houses, with seats at the Imperial Court for countless centuries. Politicians? A grossly inadequate word to describe our duties and our legacy. The Tharns have a storied history of advising kings and emperors that can be traced back to the First Era. We understand the ebb and flow of power. Ah, there's the one. With my untimely defection? My family will likely be divested of its holdings. The name Tharn is probably being stricken from every document in the Imperial Archives as we speak. I detest being on the wrong side of history. Don't sound so smug about it. This is a setback, nothing more. By allying with you, I will liberate the Empire from Menemarco's grip. The Empire is all that matters to me. I will do what I must to ensure its survival. Clivia. She is comfortably lodged in Menemarco's pocket, along with my nephew, Javad. I doubt they've given my disappearance a second thought. Ah, fair Clivia. My charming girl grew to be a ruthlessly ambitious woman. I taught her well. still deciding what to do with my apprentice. No, I'm not going to eat him. The guild would disapprove. Though, Vivek knows he deserves it. I've always found the study of Daedra fascinating. It's unfortunate that so much knowledge about them is forbidden by the Tribunal. They're tied closely to the history of my people for good or ill. The mountains of the Ashlands are rife with old Daedric ruins. Some are not as forgotten as we might like. They dot the slopes of Ash Mountain. Legends tell of a secret Daedric library there, devoted to the Daedric Prince Hermaeus Mora. I've learned not to dismiss rumor and legend out of hand. 
Whether there's an actual library, or just a fiery pit of screaming Daedra, I couldn't say. You truly don't know? You must know about House Inderul. They're one of the most powerful noble families in all Morrowind. Tanvil is the Grand Master of the House, the leader of the entire clan. They're an odd pair, aren't they? The Grand Master is so cool and cerebral, and Holgern is so... Nord. Most know that they only served together in the Akaviri War, but our guild collects secrets. You'd like to know more, wouldn't you? The Grand Master's unit was ambushed by those Akavir snakes, cut off from the rest of our forces. Holgun's scouting party came on the scene and rushed in to rescue them. He and the Grand Master were the only survivors. They fought back to back. They're tied closely to the history of... You show promise in every discipline I certify. Perhaps you seek to challenge my position as thrice accredited master craftsman. If so, Milaneth offers blacksmith, clothier, and woodworking certification. I last saw her at the local fighters guild. Certainly. Please specify. Decades ago, before all the trouble, I was a renowned chef in Cyrodiil. I had engaged an exclusive contract to provide the Mages Guild in their travels, providing food and drink that wouldn't spoil when carried through portals. Broiling fish, forging glyphs, or mixing potions, it's all recipes and ingredients. I proved the theory when I joined the ranks of the Mages Guild. Mastered both crafts within three years, not that I'm bragging. Is there anything this humble perquisitor can get for you? Everything is ours, I swear. We would never knowingly distribute the temple's relics. Anything this humble. As with all creatures, time brings change, and with change, wisdom. The Mages Guild grew from the Sidgics, often held as the wisest of mages. Lord Sotha would grant them room to grow.
Good to see you, Sarah. The tribunal priests have been kind enough to open their home to us in our time of need. Try not to break anything. We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. Vanus Galarian, one of the founding members of this August body, still holds the proud title of Guildmaster, overseeing every guild hall in Tamriel. He works with other ranking members such as Talinger, the Artificer, to ensure our future success. We are neutral in the war between the three alliances. While many of us here in Davin's Watch hold true to the Dragon Banner, when we're on guild business we kneel to no king or queen. That's why you'll see members of every race in our halls. It seems the mages have taken some liberties with our temple, an offense we will not readily forgive. As the three-in-one are my guide, so too am I their hands in this, their scolding hands. <laughs> 